Sometimes when we complain about the security situation in the country, some people go out there and say we are politicizing the issue, the issue of insecurity in Nigeria is not about politics, it's beyond party divide. You know, we should come together. And so how do you come together and solve a problem that you have already outsourced to somebody you believe had the capacity to solve the problem? I'm in opposition to the federal government. You expect me to say nice things about them? My job uh, in opposition is to make the federal government look bad, even with the things that they are doing right, just to make them sit up. That is my job in opposition. And you will not expect me to abdicate that responsibility or give it to you. It is not your job to govern and to criticize. It is your job to govern and it is my job in opposition to criticize you. Look, we have moved from a situation where we used to have only one region of this country solving insecurity issues, remote cases here and there, sometimes in Kaduna, sometimes in Kano, sometimes in Abuja. It has spread from the northeast to all the six geopolitical zones in this country. And you expect us to sit and look at you? We have a situation in Imo where some never do well. Small children are overrunning entire local government, taking over territories and chasing away the, the natural inhabitants. You know, kidnapping people, policemen, or other military formations, kidnapping traditional rulers, you know, roasting human flesh and eating cannibalism in the 21st century. In Nigeria, in, in President Buhari's Nigeria, and you say we should sit and watch? There's insecurity everywhere. Why is there so much agitation about sensation, sensation? Everybody wants to leave this country. Go to airports and see. It has never been this bad. Look, the price tag on the life of, Niger of, of a Nigerian is absolutely less than a Naira. People are taking lives of innocent citizens at will. We are not safe. You know, we thought it was a Fulani issue. We were complaining and shouting, yeah, headsmen. It is no longer about headsmen. The entire country is being poorly governed. And because of that, there are gaps that the security agencies cannot fill, and the bandits and headsmen and never do well in this country have taken advantage of. Where are we safe? You know, on the rail tracks, we are not safe. Our trains are bombed. On the road, you cannot travel. You know, it, it is it's absolute madness. What are we facing? Is it terrorism? Is it banditry? Is it hexmen? What exactly has this, this government been able to solve in six years plus? And you say we should sit and keep quiet. You sit and say we should not politicize it. How convenient. How convenient. Why? Because you've not a victim. I had my entire community chased out of my, my, my ancestral home for over six to ten years. And you say I should sit quiet. And assume that things are happening well. I have a situation where, you know, the, 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 I cannot travel to visit my in-laws or sometimes even see my children in school because the roads are not safe. The rail lines can be attacked at any time. You know, it is absolute nonsense. Look, a time has come for us to come together. Heal this country but by first of all pointing out the ills that exist. And look into solutions. Do not be afraid to name the people who are responsible. Look, by the power of our vote, we delegated this responsibility to a set of people who preached to us that they were competent. Some of us sadly bought the, the narrative and went for it. Where are we today? We are filled with regret, total regret about what we did, you know, six years ago, and they renewed two years ago lost. We had no business whatsoever to have elected President Buhari in the first place. He lacks the capacity, he lacks the intellect, he lacks the know-how, he lacks the, the tolerance to even listen to dissenting opinion. And you have people out there who also are suffering from this same situation and think about it to high heavens. You know, we must first of all have the right to be alive. We must first be alive before we hold the government accountable for projects and infrastructure. You need to be alive. You need to be alive. What exactly is happening in this country? Look, our fake leaders are running away from their responsibility. There are traditional rulers out there who are not speaking for the people anymore. We need to rise up. 
I'm not calling for you to take up arms against the government, but at least you have a verbal weapon that you can use. We need to speak up to the government without fear for them to be able to fix this country for us and the generations that are coming behind us. We can't continue like this for Christ's sakes. We cannot. The level of insecurity in this country is absolutely beyond description. Life no longer matters. You know, people that kidnapping school children at will, it has become such a huge industry. Such a huge industry. What exactly is this government taking care of? Is it banditry in the northwest? Is it Boko Haram in the north in the northeast? Is it headsman uh, 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 invasion in the north central? Is it the insecurity in the southeast where common bandits and criminals are running over over communities? and roasting human flesh and feeding themselves at will? Is it in the southwest that is slowly becoming an ungovernable place? Where exactly is safe? Where exactly is safe in Nigeria? We need to begin to speak up. You know, at every personal risk to your own personal liberties, to your own individual liberties, you must understand that this country needs some level of commitment from us as citizens. We must call to question the capacity of our leadership. This is absolutely appalling. It's beyond politics. You need to be alive to discuss about politics and say whether you are PDP or APC or APGA or SDP. You need to be alive. Let us place a demand on this government for our God-given rights to be alive. And then we can discuss politics and discuss development. This is absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Nigerians must rise up. You need to begin to speak truth to power. We can't continue like this. We will not have a country after this, this, this cabal leaves the government. We will certainly not have a government. With the way it is going, these people are going to leave us with a divided country. Communities are taking arms against each other because there's that sense of distrust. Nobody trusts the other. Why is every single region in this country calling for secession? Why is every single region in this country asking to be, asked to, to be allowed to go? Why? Because we don't feel protected here. We no longer feel protected in, in, in President uh, Muhammad Buhari's Nigeria. Yes. Yes. I say that with all the convocation, without any recourse to any authority whatsoever. This is absolute nonsense. 